<laughs> hey family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning family member, thank you. Guys, remember, there's gonna be a gift card giveaway on this channel. Stay till the end of the video for more information about that. My Instagram's linked below. Let's get in this video. Go follow me there, let's go. So guys, CNBC Make It, one of my favorite channels on YouTube. Okay guys? So today, we're gonna go back to the millennial money. I know we took a little bit of break from it, but we're gonna get back at it. It uh, reviews people's spending habits and finances and situations and income and all that fun stuff. It's my favorite, by far. Love watching them, we react to every one of them. You know, we're, we're, we're slow and steady wins the race. All right? So, today's millennial money is called living on $38,000 a year in Charlotte, North Carolina. Millennial money, all right guys. A lot of my family's in, in uh, Charlotte, so uh, that's kind of cool. North Carolina area. Yeah, go Tar Heels, maybe. I don't know. But, guys, let's get into this event, Money of Money. Let's review it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. I want to have my own coffee shop. I want to wake up one day and walk down the street and be able to open my own store. Wow, so she has a dream. I have a dream to own a coffee shop. Love that. And she lives on $38,000 a year, by the way. So let's go. I'm Chloe Potter. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I make about $38,000 a year. Okay, so she's a loan specialist, and then she's working on her coffee business. You go, girl. Proud of you. Go after your dreams. You work really hard and you make money. Having your own business, you have to be careful, but also to be so meticulous and count down to the penny to me is just like too much anxiety. Cutting back on expenses such as like going out down the street to get drinks, I mean, it's not a question. It's just like, all right. We got all right, guys, my favorite part. Let's look at her uh, monthly expenses. We got rent, $580. Food, 600 very reasonable. Debt repayment up oh, three fifty. Transportation a buck seventy. Utilities and Wi Fi one twenty five. Subscriptions one twenty. Business expenses one sixty. Insurance ninety. Pets eighty. Two thousand two hundred and seventy five dollars a month. Oh, she got a good budget. I'd like to see what the debt repayment is. Let's go. Thanks. I'm from Boca Raton, Florida, originally. I moved to Charlotte, North Carolina about a year and a half ago. Charlotte's some place where I found like I could make it work. I didn't feel like I could make it work in New York where like cost of living is super high. I moved to Charlotte with no savings and basically no money. And in Well, that's important. At least she uh, moved to a place that was reasonably priced. So that's good. A couch surfing on six different couches. So I was working about 70 or 80 hours a week to save up money to find my own place. So she's not afraid of hard work. My partner and I, Xavier, we met in CrossFit. Health is super important to us, so we spend $100 each per month on a weightlifting functional fitness membership. My partner and I are vegan. We do like to spend a little bit extra money on buying organic foods that are healthy to fuel the busy lives that we have. I ended up getting into coffee because of my love for traveling and then I would as I traveled, go to like the local spots and visit them. I feel like that's where a lot of culture is. That's how I've made friends from coffee. I started Levitate Coffee Roasters in June of 2018. I went online before ever starting it and I was like, how to start my own coffee company? And they were like, you need $25,000 to start your own company. I was like, well, I don't have $25,000, but I'm gonna start small, super small. I feel like if you love something enough, you just start somewhere and you go and then you figure it out. 
I want Levitate to be a coffee shop and I want it to be a home for people. I want it to be a place of solace for them like it was for me. The expenses that come with having your own coffee business, initially I put it all on my credit card. I'm not profiting from my business yet. I don't expect to profit from my business until at least three to four years in. I feel like the first few years when you're opening your business, you're experimenting, you're figuring out what works and what doesn't work. It's worth it when it's something that it's not work. You don't have to answer to anybody else. It's your company and it's not about the money at that point in my opinion. Good for her. I'm 26 years old and I don't have insurance. Because I am working for a startup company, there aren't enough people to kind of get on the insurance bandwagon. So they don't offer it yet, but we are looking into it, I know, as a company. I can't afford health insurance with a growing small business and living expenses. $200 a month for moderate insurance is just not affordable. Whoa, so you got to get some money saved. Having an emergency fund would be great. Things do just pop up. You know, you have medical bills or you have dentist appointments or car maintenance. I think that having a savings in a retirement isn't as easy as it used to be. I'm hoping that eventually my small business can make money so that I can have some savings and so that I can have some retirement. I'm about $7,000 in credit card debt. Okay, $7,000 in credit card debt, not too I'm bad. slowly paying it off. Every month I put like $400 towards it since my minimum is about half that. But I don't have any student loan debt. A lot of my friends have like thirty dollars to $40,000 of student loan debt that they're paying off. I don't have that, thankfully. So I'm okay with my six or $7,000 in credit card debt right now. Having debt isn't where all my energy goes. I'm sure like it's stressful at times and I definitely have my days where I'm freaking out, but you can't focus on that all of the time. Just focusing on being an autonomous person and having my own business as my focus and being able to eventually help out my family. You know, right now I get some help from them and eventually I'd like to be in a space where I am able to help those around me that have helped me out. All right, guys, so pretty good video. Couple takeaways. Number one, I would probably ha try to have her save some more money and start looking at investments. You know, she's really young still, like in her late 20s, but still I definitely wanna start saving some money and start looking towards retirement. But the good thing about her, she's going after her uh, dream of the coffee thing. So, you know, go after it, do your thing. You know, hopefully she can get a couple shops, make a little brand for herself, that's huge. So I'm excited for her in that aspect and I hope everything works out for her and she loves it, which, which is extremely important. Like I mentioned in you know previous videos, you gotta find something you love and go for it. Yeah guys. All right guys, so remember, $100 Visa gift card giveaway on this channel at 1,000 family members. So let's get there guys. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, your family, your cousins. Anybody who wants to get better as a person should come to this channel overall. We're chasing the best version of yourself right yeah all right guys that's all for today's video remember to continue to work to become the best version of yourself and we'll see you in the next one guys peace